Hello, Karen here with this month's challenge, which is to use stamping on a layout. I'm not really comfortable with stamping on straight onto a page, so this is going to be quite a challenge for me. So for my page, I'm going to use these stamps, um, which I chose specifically because they have the um, call outs which is what I think my page is going to be mostly about. So I have those stamps. I also have these shiny sparkly letters, which I think were from BM Bargains. They weren't very expensive. Um, some pearls and enamel dots, which I may or may not use. And then I have scraps of paper and die cuts left over from classes that I took at a previous retreat. I have prepared a mask which is um, cut, which was cut on my silhouette on self adhesive cardstock. And then the last thing that I did also on my silhouette was to do a page with um, where I punched holes for stitching um, I have used the silhouette to write my title which is going to be bestest best friend forever and also at the very bottom if you can just about see I've um, used it to do some journaling lines so the first thing I need to do is to line my mask up over my page and then I need to stamp over that and remove it. So I'm using my Tim Holtz stamping platform to decide where I'm going to put things and then I will ink it up and stamp my page. So I've arranged the stamps around part of my heart. I can now pick them up on my platform, ink them and stamp that bit. Now, let's see if it works, peel off the mask. Oh, it seems to have worked really well. I wasn't too far off with where I might place my mask. So, there we are. Oops, I had a thumb, thumb print there that I'll have to cover up. So that is the start of my page. So I'm going to go and do my stitching. Oh, but first I think I might flick some colour on. So I'll just... As you can see, I've decided to put the mask back on before I flicked the colour on. Okay, so I've um, done the stitching round my heart, which I'm really pleased with. It makes it look really clean, whereas before I thought it was a bit 
scruffy didn't have any definition and I've cut a couple of pieces of paper as my photo mount and fussy cut three clusters of flowers and I've also sorted out some bits and pieces that I'm going to add to my page There we are, the finished layout. So I have coloured the silver letters with a black sharpie and written my journaling, which I made a hash of because I didn't quite have enough room to put everything I wanted to put. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this YouTube and call back again later in the month when you'll be able to see what the other talented UK scrap addict designers have done for you with this month's prompt which is to stamp on a layout thank you for watching bye bye